Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome to a new episode on how to. I had a request not so long ago from uh, one of the subscribers. He wants to install Odo on Docker and he couldn't do it. So he asked me if I could do a small tutorial and show him how to install it. Of course, it won't just be for him, it will be for everybody to look. So without any delay, let's go and start. But before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon to get notified. And if you like the video, thumbs up so you can help me with the actual YouTube algorithm to get more views. Thanks so much. Now let's get started. Here we go. This is where we're going to install the auto. There are multiple versions and we're going to install the community version on Docker. You can find the information on the Docker app. You will find all the information, of course, on the, the description below. With all the links we're going to install the latest one the version 14 and we're going to use this one here now this one as you can see here has the version 12 selected but we're going to change it with the actual latest version as you will see here again you can actually leave it and just have the version 12 you can have version 13 and of course the latest version 14. I'm going to use Docker Portainer. I'm going to click on stack and I'm going to add a new stack. I'm going to name it and I'm going to paste the content in the web editor. All right, so we got the version 12 that we're going to change and I'm going to write 14 or you can actually write latest if you wanted to. So that's exactly what I'm going to add. I'm going to leave the actual ports as they are, the volumes also as they are, but again, the environment, make sure you change the password, the user. Again, you can actually leave the database names if you want to, that's up to you, you know, you can change it. Make sure you make something that is quite strong, okay? Once we're happy with this, I'm going to say, deploy the stack depending on the server you're using it might take some time all right so the actual installation has been completed the actual stack has also been saved as you can see here let's go to the actual dashboard we go to the containers and we are going to look at the two containers as as you can see they are being created here the port is 8069 so what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to add the IP address. In this case, I'm not going to use the domain. Now, if you use domain, what you want to do, you want to install, unless you already done so, Nginx proxy manager. This is something I use to redirect domains. But in this case, I'm going to use just the IP and the port 80 to 69. And as you can see here, we already have the auto installed. As you can see here, they generate a password, a master password that has already been inserted. For this installation, I'm going to create a new database. I'm going to call it testing. I'm going to add my email address and I'm going to create a password. I'm going to leave it the phone number. English is going to be English UK country I'm going to put United Kingdom there we go and for this demonstration I'm going to add the demo data if you have a already database because you are migrating you can actually restore the database if you wanted to but in this case I'm going to just click create database make sure you save the master password somewhere safe and here we go we are inside the apps dashboard whatever you see the install that is free to use whatever you see the upgrade for example like here those are upgradable and you need to pay for it so we go back to the site here we go the crm we go the invoicing for example i'm going to click install you go sales inventory e-commerce, email marketing, and as you can see, there are loads of applications that you can actually install via Odo. 
So as you can see, this app has been added. You got the invoicing, you can create a new invoicing. Let's go back to the apps again. So you can actually see it. As you can see, invoice being installed. You can actually uh, uh, access the invoicing by going to the square up here. And as you can see, we got the invoicing here. This is just the categories of all the application available, all right? And again, it's very simple. Just click install, wait for the installation, and you can start using the actual app. This is how easy it is to install auto on your Docker and how easy it is to access all the application via this dashboard. Again, we go here, we go to, go to sales, and as you can see here, we got some also data sales that has been generated as a demo information. So thanks again, guys. I hope you enjoyed this small tutorials on how to install auto on your Docker using Portainer. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to like and share the videos. It's quite important for me if you like and share and thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you didn't like it. So the actual YouTube algorithm can see that people are interacting with my videos and I can get more exposures. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you next time.